Let's make homemade bread and homemade pizza. I accidentally made the homemade bread when I was making the pizza dough. So yeah, here's both recipes of that. First, we're gonna to wanna to prepare a sponge. So in a large bowl, mix together the yeast, warm water, a third cup of honey, and fourth cups of flour. We're gonna mix that together with a wooden spoon or dough hook until it's combined, and then cover with sprayed plastic and let it double in size. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes for that to happen. Then we're gonna add two and a half more cups of flour along with a third cup more honey and salt, and then a tablespoon of olive oil. Mix it together and knead it for five minutes. Add a half cup of flour if the dough still seems too sticky. We're gonna to wanna to spray the bowl with some cooking spray or some olive oil. Place the dough in the bowl, cover it with a towel, and let it rise for 30 more minutes. While your oven is preheating to 400, spray your pans with cooking oil, and you're gonna want three pans and divide the dough into three parts. Put each loaf in the pan and let it rise until doubled. Once you stick them in the oven, turn the temperature down to 350 and bake them for 30 minutes. And bake them for 17 to 18 minutes. You'll know they're done when the bottom of the bread is light brown. When they're done, immediately take the bread out of the pan and put them on a cooling rack. Okay, let's make pizza dough. Yesterday I tried making pizza dough, but I accidentally followed the wrong recipe and ended up baking three loaves of this bread. You're gonna wanna add a cup of warm water and then two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. Then you wanna gently stir this and then cover it for five minutes. Okay, I hate when this happens. Okay, nobody look at it funny. Don't want it to happen again. Okay, five minutes. While this is sitting, I'm gonna cut myself a piece of that new homemade bread. All right, five minutes is up. We've got our yeast and water here. We're gonna wanna add one and three fourths cups of kamut flour. Okay, there's one. That's about three fourths. We can always add more if we need to. A tablespoon of olive oil. That's probably good. Pinch of salt. And let's use our dough hook here to mix it together. And we're gonna have to start kneading it with our hands. Uh, I have an owie on my finger, so I'm gonna go put a glove on. Okay, got my glove on. I'll just turn this back on once it's ready. Okay, I think we've got a good consistency of the dough here. You're gonna wanna make it into a ball shape. And you want oil in the bowl. You want to lightly oil this bowl. I think I did way too much, but that's fine. That's fine. So once you have your ball, you want to set it on top of that oil, and you want to cover it for two hours. While that dough rises, I got myself some nice honey toast. We separated our dough into two balls and put it in the fridge, so this was the next day. So we flattened it out, added our marinara sauce, and mozzarella cheese, I recommend using a mozzarella cheese block and then just putting the slices on there. This is all we had, so we just made do with what we had. But yeah, stick it in the oven, 500 degrees for about 11 minutes, and it should come out looking like this.